everyone, Bruno from RVing TV. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a 2022 Coleman Lantern 285BH. This is approximately a 28 foot trailer with a, a living space with one large slide. Very popular layout. We've seen this type of layout in several different manufacturers, but there's a few tweaks that Coleman has done. Now, this is a trailer that weighs in at 6,582 pounds and has just under 2,200 pounds of load capacity. So great load capacity for getting out and traveling and 6,580 pounds is very respectable for the weight of this size of trailer. It's not light, so please don't take it as I'm trying to say that it's light, but it's a respectable weight for the size and the features you get. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you to you guys. If you like the video, during the video, please click the like button. Please hit the subscribe. We're trying to push past the 10,000 subscriber mark. And thank you to Bella Vista RV as we're on their lot today doing videos for a variety of floor plans to bring to you so that if you're in the market, either new, that you get to see some of these floor plans rather than just looking at pictures. And if you're looking to upgrade, you have that ability. So thank you to Bella Vista. They're in Oral Medante, Ontario. Take a look at their website. They can be found at www.bellavistarv.com and they post prices, which is great if you're out shopping. I'll put a link in the comments area below. But back to the 285. So a couple of things that I noticed when we looked outside. We have a decent little outside kitchen. So we've got our cooktop here right with two burners that's all you really need on a little pull out we've got our mini fridge uh, from an amenities standpoint we have our furion backup camera prep there our spare tire and we have power stabilizer jacks front and back as well as a power tongue jack now we've got a large awning. You'll notice it's about three quarters of the length of the trailer, which is phenomenal if you have family and you're traveling. They do use the Lippert solid step and we've talked in previous videos. This is a great step. The feet are adjustable. So if you don't have an even ground like we have here, it's a little uneven. You can set each leg slightly differently. They do use steel wheels, which is okay because we want to keep the price point at a decent price point here. Now the 285 is a double entry unit. You have an entry into the main living area as well as an entry into the bedroom. So if you do put this on a campground, you're out facing a lake, just imagine sitting on your bed, kids are sleeping, having a nice cup of coffee, looking out over the lake. Now, I was impressed when I opened the compartment door here at the size of this compartment. It's actually much wider than I was expecting. So they've taken advantage of as much outdoor space as possible because this is going to be typically a family unit with young kids and any of you who have young kids out there know that you're gonna to be taking tons of stuff. Especially the younger they are, it seems the more you take with you. Now let's take a look inside at some of the features of this floor plan. As soon as you walk in, the first thing you're gonna notice is the closet here. Now the closet is done in several floor plans, but again, they've actually made this about six inches deeper than what I've traditionally seen. I mean, look at the storage space we have on the floor going all the way up. They've spaced the shelving nicely and they've even put a couple of hangers and of course a light in there so you can see the gear you're getting. And when we look, they've actually put a deeper lip than what I've seen on a number of trailers, which is really nice. So you're really securing your gear in there. Now I'm gonna spin around because the 285 BH, of course BH being bunkhouse, is a double over double bunk configuration. There's windows on both the bunks. The shades are just pulled down right now because it's fairly hot here in Ontario and that's just keeping some of the sunlight and heat out. 
but double over double bunks with the ladder so it's easy for young kids to get up and down and I like the idea this was different the little I'm gonna call it a half wall not half in height but half in length because a lot of times the bunks are open but you'll get more of a wall on this side and because of the bathroom they've left it more open taking advantage of the structure with the wall and the ladder and that way you get more of an openness for opening the door to come in and out. So we have a decent little washroom, decent countertop space, medicine cabinet, but a really big shower. And that's a big, big key. And then there's a little power vent and skylight above it to let that steam out. We also have good usage of storage. There's three drawers here and they're decent size. And we've got an extra hanging closet. And I thought this was smart because so many times you'll see shelving here, but no hanging. And you need a place to hang the kids' clothes, jeans, shirts, those type of things. And you can still utilize the bottom part of the shelf for storage as well. Now, Coleman loves their sofa with the footrests, which is great when you go out because it gives you the best combination of being able to relax, flip it into a sleeping area, and or, and I'll just fold that out of the way, and or the additional storage space that you get underneath the sofa where you traditionally don't get that with the home theater seats. And I know that's becoming more and more popular in units these days. Now as we spin around we've got our fireplace which will throw heat and it's already prepped for a TV here. This unit doesn't have it but it's prepped for it. As we move into our kitchen, I'll come back to the fridge in a moment, we have our three burners with our glass top. So you have the extra prep space if you're not cooking here and you're barbecuing outside. We've got a nice little oven. The traditional Coleman farmhouse sink. I do, and you've heard me say this in other videos, I do like the gray, dark gray stainless steel that they used in here. I think it'll hide fingerprints a lot more. And there's decent counter space around. Power plug and USB here at the kitchen. And then we've got some under cabinet lighting and some good cabinet storage right around. Now the fridge is a 12 volt fridge. This is gonna be 10 cubic feet. Glass shelves inside, spot to put some pop cans or juice cans in there. I do like the way the fridge is finished and it's a nice size so that you can put a lot of gear in here especially for a family while you're traveling. Our dinette is a good width dinette and you'll notice our slide has two big windows as well. As we make our way up front we have a queen bed with night tables on both sides with drawers, power plugs and USBs on both sides. So we have a plug there and a USB here and we have the same over on that side. Now they do the cabinets on both sides with a single shelf. So remember this is a Coleman Lantern. This type of unit is about building maximum value and keeping a price point reasonable for the consumer to get into the RVing lifestyle, have a lot of amenities and good quality without going crazy. So as we spin around and we take a look from the forward back, you know, a really well appointed unit. Uh, yes, it's not crazy over the top in finishings, but that's not what you're trying to achieve. Um, as I just mentioned earlier, I want to reinforce, you're getting a really good name backed by a large company, Dutchman RV, backed by a great dealer network. Lots of features like the big fridge and the nice stainless steel um, sink, the fireplace, you know, nicely appointed, nicely finished without going crazy in price. There's a lot of trailers in this kind of price point that don't give you these features 
nor the finishings. Um, as an RVer, I guess the lesson I can impart from coming from the dealership side is you want to take a look at what you're spending, the quality you're getting, and the value that you're getting. Sometimes you're better to pass up an option and have more quality. It's a little harder to find at some price points, but you can find a nice blend out there. You just want to be cognizant of what you're buying, so ask lots of questions to your dealer and look at the features closely, and are those features you're going to use. So this Coleman is a nice package put together, lots of value, great living space for a family. If you're interested in a Coleman, please look up Bella Vista RV and Oro Medante. A special thank you to them again for use of the trailers. Their website is www.bellavistarv.com and I'll post the link in there to make it easier. Because if you're shopping around, they do have prices on their website, which will give you a better idea before you even go on a dealer's lot versus the dealers that put no pricing. Also, thank you to you, our viewers. If you like the video, hit the like button, smash that subscribe button and the bell next to it, and you'll be notified of new videos as they come due. Uh, we are trying to push to the 10,000 subscriber mark, so please subscribe and recommend the channel to your friends. I'd really appreciate it. So special thank you to you, our viewers. As I normally say, I look forward to seeing you out in the campgrounds, and if you see me, come say hello. But most importantly, remember to live life the fullest and enjoy every day. Take care.